Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a, a gold green micro glitter kind of fantasy look. And um, since gold seems to be a real trend for the summer, I thought I'd go over a couple of palettes that you may already have that are really good at going ahead and doing gold looks. And before we get going, I'm going to put on some of the NYX Butter Gloss Bling. Uh, this one has um, the glitter in it. And we'll go ahead and get started uh, as far as what I have on today. I did go ahead and use the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. I have mine in fair. And I did mix a little bit of the Soul Bronzer. Um, this is the Face and Body Bronzer in fair. So I did uh, go ahead and mix those two together. As far as what I have on the lips, I do have the Revolution Baby Gloss on. This one's in Wonder. And then, like I said, I just put on the NYX uh, Better Gloss Bling in Peach. So that's what I have on there. As far as what I did for the bronzer and um, Let's see, for blush, well, blush, I use Elf Halo Glow and Magic Hour, so that's what I have on. And then I did go ahead and use the NYX uh, Buttermilk Bronzer. This one's in Buttercup, and so that's what I have on. It does go uh, pretty peachy on me. And let's see, what else did I do today? Uh, one of the palettes to go ahead and do a gold look, and one of the newer ones, is actually the Wildwood palette. This is by Alter Ego. With Alter Ego, you do have to purchase on their website and then have it shipped. Um, this is actually a dupe for the Natasha to the... Natasha Denona um, Yucca palette and it has a lot of gold in it. In fact, all of these shimmers up here, um, pretty much all of them have micro glitter and a gold base and they all have a little bit different um, as far as the actual shimmer. The one that I'm wearing today on the lid is actually this one that goes a little bit more green. And to go through what I have on today, I have this in the crease then this color um, actually in the outer corner, this on the lid, and I have a combination of these two on the inner corner. And like I said, these glitters are really fun. They have micro glitter in them, so they are really, really, really sparkly and just an overall really good palette. If you want to go ahead and do a gold look um, or something, yeah, gold, um, you got the terracottas in there, some greens, so it's really pretty and definitely would uh, go ahead and be a good one to pick up if you're wanting to follow the trends and do some gold looks. And I did go ahead and use, let's see, this one as far as my eyeliner today, this is the way that the look came out. So it did go uh, more green gold. and. Um, Let's see, what else did I use today? The Beauty Pie Triple Glow Powder. And so that's what I have on there. And then getting into some of the palettes that you can go ahead and use to get some gold looks. Oh, hold on, forgot. Okay, so on the cheeks, I actually have the Glam Light Scooby-Doo. And this one is highlighter palette. I have this bottom shade on. It's actually a glitter, and it's a gold glitter. So it, um, you see your blush underneath this particular highlighter, and it is very, very glittery. Um, also, the micro glitters. So as far as getting into some palettes that you can do some good gold looks with, another Alter Ego palette is called Midsummer, and it's a dupe for one of the ABH palettes. Uh, came out last year. And then the Sweetest Can Be palette from ColourPop, and this is cute Winnie the Pooh collab that they did. And really good palette. So you could definitely do this one to go ahead and get some of those gold looks. Um, I do have the Feeling Bubbly from ColourPop. And so this one, and again, you can do some pretty gold looks with this one as well. 
And then from Fantasy Cosmetica, I have the Bard palette. Again, if you're wanting to do some gold looks, this one will go ahead and do that for you as well. Oh, classic one here. Uh, the Warrior by Juvia's Place. And so classic palette to go ahead and do some gold looks with. The Precious Metals palette by ColourPop. This just came out for their 10-year anniversary. And this has a whole... Yeah, whole half the palette is all going to be warm. And so, yeah, I would definitely say you can do some really good gold looks with this one. In fact, I have one up already on um, my channel. Uh, the Smoke and Hot palette by ColourPop. This came out last year as well. And again, to go ahead and do some gold looks, this would definitely work. And it's a gorgeous palette. Um, I think this one is of Red Alta as well, or at least it was there for a while. And then the last palette that I have that does some really good gold looks is by Juvia's Place. This is Culture 2. And again, another one to go ahead and do some really pretty gold looks if you would like to go ahead and do that. Again, um, just doing this video to go ahead and remind you of what palettes you may already have and if you want to do or participate in the trend. And um, yeah, they're all trying to fall off right now. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Disaster averted. Yay! So, anyway, that's uh, the video for to uh, today. And I hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.